Hello there. Today is July 10th, 2016. I'm going to be testing four VPNs today to find out which is the fastest when connecting from China. I'll be testing ExpressVPN, VPN AC, StrongVPN, and Viper VPN. Today I'm going to be testing the Hong Kong servers because that's the closest location to me and that's usually where I get the best speeds. I'm going to put a link on the screen now and that's for a page on my website called Best VPN for China and there is always updated often and that will tell you what's working the best for me uh, for using a VPN in China. So go check. Okay, let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is test my download speed without a VPN. Make sure that there's nothing wrong in my network and I'm getting the full, almost the full 100 megabits per second. So network is good. Let's get started with the VPN testing now. Okay, I'm going to connect to VPN AC on the Hong Kong One server. Open VPN 128 bit on TCP 12200. I'm using this server quite often recently, getting very good results. Ping, ping time 17 milliseconds, that's very good. Uh, excellent download speed today with VPN AC, getting close to 60M here. Might get over 60, yeah, very good download speed, about 64.16M. Uh, that is a pretty good result. And if you would like to try out VPN AC for yourself, I do have a 25% uh, discount code available on my website. I'll put a link up on the screen and that will take you to my website and give you more details on that promotion. Okay, next up we have ExpressVPN and I just changed the protocol to TCP because I'm testing only TCP today for all of the VPNs. That's because uh, UDP is being throttled by China Telecom or the Great Firewall, I'm not sure. But TCP is what's working these days. I'm connected to Hong Kong 3 TCP on ExpressVPN. I'm expecting a very good latency, yeah, 13 milliseconds. Uh, download speed's not great compared to VPN AC and some others, but um, you know, 5M is pretty good uh, depending on what you're doing. If you're you know, streaming high definition videos, it's more than enough. Uh, web browsing, emails, you know, that's very good. The only time really you need the higher download speed is if you're downloading a large file. So depending on what you're using your VPN for, um, sometimes latency is more important, sometimes download speed is more important. But ExpressVPN is very reliable and one of the best working VPNs in China, although it is uh, very expensive, of course. Okay, now we're going to connect to StrongVPN on the Hong Kong server using OpenVPN TCP. Uh, basically, these three servers um, in Hong Kong from VPN AC, ExpressVPN, and StrongVPN are the three VPN servers I use most often, and in my opinion, the best performing. So we got also very good latency, 14 milliseconds, and uh, good download speed as well. Faster than ExpressVPN, but not as fast as VPN AC. Uh, one thing I should mention too is that these results vary from day to day, and depending on what network you're using, where you are in China, there's a lot of factors at play, and you know sometimes one is faster than the other. But um, these, they're all three very good options. At the time of recording this video, these are these are the three VPNs I I recommend most highly if you're in China and I'll put a link on the screen so you can go check that page now and see if that recommendation is still the same today because the page will be updated often. I'm also just going to connect to the Viper VPN Hong Kong server because I haven't tried it in a while and it hasn't been working very well when connecting from China Telecom. It does however work with China Unicom mobile data and I assume it probably would also work if you have a China Unicom um, ISP for your high-speed internet. But I'm um, not expecting it to work now. It hasn't, it's been working very, very poorly recently. Now, what I do recommend Viper VPN for is if you're looking for a good Netflix VPN. Um, their USA servers work uh, very well for Netflix. And it's actually a little bit faster than ExpressVPN 
Um, ExpressVPN and Viper VPN are the two most highly recommended VPNs for Netflix. Uh, if you're interested more about Netflix, I'll put a link on the screen for my best VPN for Netflix page. At the time I'm making this video, um, those are the two I'm recommending, uh, Viper VPN and ExpressVPN. But I test it regularly, so go to that page and take a look if you're looking for a Netflix VPN. But if you're in China and and you're looking for Netflix, probably ExpressVPN is better. Although Viper VPN works the better for Netflix. And it, overall, it's not a very good VPN because, as you see, I'm getting very terrible latency and download speed on this Hong Kong server. I believe their Taiwan server is the same. Uh, they're, so if you're looking for a good low latency Asian server in China, Viper VPN is not a good choice. But if you're looking for a good USA server or um, just a good general VPN for watching Netflix, then I do highly recommend uh, Viper VPN. As you can see, terrible latency, 330 milliseconds and download speed 2.6, which actually I'm even surprised it's that high. And the upload is basically not even going at all, 0, 0 0.1 M. So there you go. And thank you for watching my video. You can see the test results on a graph here. On the top, we have upload and download speeds. VPN AC was the fastest. On the bottom, we have latency which uh, the lower the better when it comes to latency and I believe ExpressVPN had the lowest latency today. Now I'm just going to talk for a few minutes and go into some more details on the three VPNs which I most highly recommend if you're in China. Now I'll start with VPN AC which is the VPN that I most often use myself and it's also the one that I have running on my VPN router. Now, some of the advantages of VPN AC, first of all, is the price. It's the lowest price VPN that works in China, and it works very well. So the price is only 43 US dollars, I think 43.50, if you use the promotion code on my website. Um, another advantage is the speed. As you can see today, it was the it had the fastest download speed of any other VPN that I tested. Um, another advantage is the simultaneous connections. They allow up to six, so you can connect on six different devices all at the same time. And the last advantage is the service. Uh, very good uh, technical support. You don't get the typical kind of cut and paste answers that you would with other VPNs. The uh, service people, they know what they're talking about. Now, some of the disadvantages of VPN AC. It is a smaller company and there's a few kind of uh, bugs in their Windows software and it doesn't uh, get updated as often. Um, one of the bugs is that if you have a failed connection to PPTP, you'll have to then exit the program and restart it to try to connect to PPTP again. Otherwise, you'll just get some kind of weird error. Um, another disadvantage, and this is a big one, if you, if you use iPhone or iPad, is that they don't have a dedicated app for iOS. So you can set it up manually. I'm going to put a link up on the screen how to do that. But um, it doesn't work as good as the apps of ExpressVPN, for example. And the next one, ExpressVPN, I'll start with the disadvantage first, which is their price. It's quite expensive. Uh, 100 US dollars, I believe, for one year. Uh, more than double the price of VPN AC. However, it is a lot better in many ways. Their software is, is updated more frequently and there's no bugs in it that I'm aware of. Um, another advantage of ExpressVPN is it's very reliable. It's probably the most reliable one. This Hong Kong 3 server never fails to connect even when um, it's very busy, you know, 8 p.m., 9 p.m., 10 p.m. at night in China. And the network is very congested and it's just working very poorly in general. Um, I find ExpressVPN usually works the best at this time. Um, they do have um, iOS apps, so if you're using an iPhone or an iPad, it works extremely well. The, it, you, the iPad app uses a protocol called Cisco IPsec, which uh, works very good in China. So if you're looking for 
um, a VPN to use on iOS in China, definitely look for one that uses the Cisco IPsec protocol. Now they allow three simultaneous connections, which is enough for most people, but uh, not quite as good as VPN AC's uh, six simultaneous connections. But uh, I will say overall, it probably is the best working VPN in China, the most reliable, the most stable, and just the best overall, even though their download speed isn't uh, always the best as you saw today. Now, lastly, I'm going to talk a little bit about strong VPN, which is another good option um, if you're looking for a good low latency Hong Kong server. Now, their price is around $70 per year. So between ExpressVPN and uh, VPN AC. The, there also is a discount code available on my website. I'll put a link on the screen now. That will give you 15% off any of their plans monthly or yearly. So you can go give it a try if you like. There's also a five day money back guarantee, I believe. So make sure you cancel it within five days if you don't like it. I will say some of the disadvantages are the software a little bit complicated to use, not so intuitive. Um, also, the server changing is a little bit complicated. Every server has a maximum number of slots. And if you want to change the server that's assigned to you, you have to give up your slot on the existing server. Not really a big deal for me. I pretty much only use this Hong Kong server, but I think I would be pretty not happy if a slot was not available on that server and I wasn't able to use it. Their USA servers, to be honest, uh, not working so well right now. So really, I only use StrongVPN for this Hong Kong server. And uh, simultaneous connections, I believe they allow two simultaneous connections. So uh, if you're interested, uh, go give that a try as well. But I would say the two most highly recommended ones would be VPN AC and ExpressVPN.